Hi, this is Conrad from Grumpy Old Geezer Boxing. Uh, I'm not too grumpy today. I was grumpier because it was windy and rainy and I tried to do this outside and it didn't work. But today we're going to talk about shadow box. Okay? Now, shadow box. Who wants to talk about shadow box? Well, there's a lot actually. You know what I find is a lot of people don't have a clue what they're trying to do when they're shadow boxing. Right? And I'm not saying that to knock anybody. I'm just saying because I, I even got questions from the last... You know, the, the one I said, can you keep up with this old man at the end? I said, do one minute of shadow boxing with one hand, do one minute with the other hand, and one minute with two hands. And I immediately got a couple of guys on Facebook, uh, and then a guy on WhatsApp, even said, I don't have a clue what I'm trying to do when I'm shadow boxing. Okay? That's really common when you're new. Okay? You're new to boxing, and you're going to a trainer, and, and it's funny. Boxing looks simple because you're hitting you're hitting bags and then you're trying to hit each other in the face, but it's it's complicated. That's why they call it the sweet science, right? So, how am I going to teach myself to shadow box and actually accomplish something? And this is important because really, you should be putting in zillions of rounds shadow boxing. Shadow boxing is where you cement the combinations and the moves that you're going to use when you get in the ring. What your trainer's teaching you, right? Now, the problem is, though, a lot of trainers, because they got a lot on their mind, they, they forget that a new guy, or even somebody, maybe you were older, and you were pretty good when you were young, but now, you gotta, now you're older, you got to think about it, right? What am I trying to do? You, need, you know, before you had reflexes. Now you don't, okay? A lot of trainers, they don't, they don't think about teaching somebody the, the logic of shadow boxing. Now, there are going to be different ways to, to approach this, but let's keep it really simple, okay? And this is going to be the simplest thing, that, the, sim the two simplest things that I can tell you about shadow boxing, but you can build on these. The first is, okay, what you want to do when you shadow box, right, is you want to think about what combos, what you're going to do, but how are you going to move after the combo, and what are you going to do before the combo, okay? But the other thing is you don't want to practice something that's, that teaches you the wrong balance, okay? You don't want to do that. So we get to... Basic rule shadow box, okay? When you throw a punch, or let's say you throw a combo, you want to slip the direction of the last punch, or you can bob under it, right? Now, let's, I know that may sound complicated, but it's not, so let's keep it really simple. Let's say I throw a jab, bop, right? The, what I want to do after that jab is slip to the same side, or if I want, I can bob and weave under to the same side. And you say, well, hold on a minute, but what if a guy throws a one, two, one, five, three, you know, three, you know, man, okay, okay. Like you, you can always come up with exceptions. You, you might wind up with Emmanuel Augustus against you one day, and he's sitting there just bam, 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 throwing five punches with one hand, or Roy Jones. I mean, let's, let's just keep it simple for practice's sake right now. I know there might be some old gray head hardcores out there that are saying, oh, yes, but this, that. Okay, forget it. Let's just keep it simple. First reason why you do that, you want to make sure that you don't teach yourself bad balance. And this is what I mean. Let's say that you throw one, two, three. One, two, hook, right? If you want to practice slipping to that same side, your mind's going to carry that hook through. Next thing you know, you're going to be start practicing like this. And then you're going to throw a right and you're going to practice like that. You start swinging around all over the place. Somebody's going to knock your head off. And, that, and also, it's just not boxing. I guess that's brawling. Now, I'm not saying you couldn't do it. Sure, you could throw a one, two, three. I thought I was going to step on the court. You could throw a one, two, three, and then spin out to this side. Yeah, you can, do, you can come up with stuff. But for now, let's not worry about that. Let's keep it like simple. If I throw a left and that's the last punch of my combo, I'm going to go to that side. Or I'm going to bob and weave under. So I'm going to slip to that side, or I'm going to bob and weave under. Okay? Here's the second reason why. Second reason is actually pretty logical. Now, as you get go further, you can deconstruct this or refute this or whatever. But let's, let's keep play it like a numbers game. Let's imagine it's rock'em, sock'em, robots time. Okay? So I throw a one, two, bam, bam. You throw a one, two, bam, bop. See, I just got it in the nose. You throw a one, two. Maybe you were faster than me, okay? If we just keep it that I threw a one, two, you threw a one, two, look what happens. I throw the one, maybe let's say I catch, I catch you, you throw one, I throw one at the same time, bop, right, like that. 
then you throw the two. But I don't throw a two punch, right? But what's coming? That two from you, right? Now, what's the basic tenet in boxing, the basic rule? You slip outside the oncoming punch, okay? So, if I throw a left, right, you want to slip outside of my left. So the left's coming, I want to slip outside, slip outside the left, okay? I want to get out of that left. The left's coming down the pipe like that, you see? So here's the left, you slip outside the left. If the right's coming, I'm going to slip outside the right. So if it's a left, right, zing, zing, I could slip outside, right? I could even slip the left, slip the right, come back with a hook, okay? Now you're saying, yeah, but if I'm not fast, I slip and I bam, I might get straight. You know, that's boxing. You're going to get hit, and you might not be able to slip left, right that fast, fast enough. You know, trust me, we don't always slip out of the punch, but we're practicing now, okay? So you, but you see. Now, I was about, I started to draw diagrams and everything on the board to explain the logic of why when you throw your punches, which way you will move. But it's going to be easier to look at. In fact, actually, we're going to get the mast of Ender to stand like this so you can see better. Okay, She's, She doesn't have much boxing experience, but that's okay. All we're doing is talking about the logic of punches and which way you can practice to move, just like what we're saying. Now, some of the old timers will say when somebody throws this combination or that combination, do this. That's great, but the fact is you get in the ring with somebody and uh, some of that goes out the window. You might get in the ring with somebody who likes to throw lead left hooks. You might get in the ring with somebody who just loves to fight with throwing, throwing straight twos and coming off combinations. So what, you know, you take all this stuff with a grain of salt, but this is just a way to practice and it's very simplified. But I want you to see the logic because a lot of people don't understand it. So let's say that we're going to be playing Rock'em Sock'em Robots and we're going to throw the same punches at the same time. Of course, we would, you know, if we throw a one, bick, we throw a two, bick, we both hit each other in the face. But now, if the Masked Avenger throws a one and then she throws a two, but I don't throw a two. No, go ahead, go ahead. I don't throw a two. Now, see, what did I throw first? Let's go back up. I threw a one. Now, which way would I move after my last punch in a combination? I'd move to the same side of that arm. So now she throws the two, and I slip to this side. Oh, I actually didn't slip her. Well, she hit me, she hit me. But easy, let's try it again. So one. Now, instead of throwing the two, I slip, bop, to this side. That's, now I slipped way, way far because I'm trying to look at the camera. But you see how that works. Now, let's look if we throw a one, two, three. Now, three is a left hook, so we'll do this slow. So if we did it together, one, bop, two, bop, now a three, good. Oh, we hit each other in the head. But what if what I'm doing, and let's look at the logic again, a one, two, but now when she throws the three, this is the last punch of my combo. I don't want to throw the three. I want to get, I want to slip, okay? So now she throws the three, zing, I come under. She was throwing that three pretty low there. You see, why did I come under that side? Because it was after my two, which was this arm. Okay, if we threw, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll just one more time, we threw a one, two, one, two. So a one, two, straight punches, one, two. So a one, two, one, straight punch. And she throws the two, but I don't throw the two. I move off this shoulder, right? So I could come under. Well, now you threw a hook on me, but it doesn't matter. Or I could step out with that, against that because my last punch was here. One, two, one, I didn't throw the two. She, I, wait, wait, throw it together. One, two, now she throws her two, right? And what, what, where was I? Where was I, you see? So we'll do it again. One, two, right? This is my last punch. She throws it here, I step out because I'm going to this side. That's all it is, it's really simple, okay? So I hope you saw that. Thank you for the Masked Avenger. She's very, very new. She'll get better at boxing as we go, I think. <laughs> but thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's not rocket science. It may be hard to envision here where we are, but this is kind of the, the part of the logic behind it, although I honestly think what's more important is to teach you not to, to get your balance off track and start, you know, throw a three and then practice ducking to that side, right? So now how do we use this to shadow box? Well, pretty simple. If I tell you, if you throw 
a one, two, go to the side. You can, you can bob under or you can slip to the side of your last punch, that two. Or if I say a one, one, two, same thing. Or if I say a one, two, three, now let's go under that side. Or one, two, three, let's slip to that side, okay? If, if you practice moving to that same side of your last punch, it will open you up to be able to practice all kinds of things. You can develop a flow and you have a sense of what you're trying to do when you shadow box, okay? So let's, let's put it this way. Let's say if we have, here's just a few. You, let's say that you're, a, you're new at boxing, okay? Or even if you're not and you just never thought about shadow boxing very much. And you know a one, two, you know a one, one, two, you know a one, two, three. And of course, you know a one, two, one, two. Well, let's, let's put something else up on the board. I'm going to add, uh, let's, let's add a, a two, three, okay, right? So a straight right and a left hook, okay? I think everybody probably understands those punches, right, at a basic. You can develop a, a flow just with those punches. Now, sure, there is more to this step. You need to, you need to know, I'm probably going to trip on this wire, but you need to know how do I pivot out? And if you want, you can pivot out on the back foot. You need to be able to kick out, to bump, right? Uh, can you go, okay, I am gonna trip on this wire. Do you know how, do you, there are different steps in boxing. I'm gonna hold it up like that. So, for example, you can come here and then step out. Come here and then step out, that L step. There, there's a lot to it, but for now, the one thing you don't do is don't go straight back, okay? Let's see if we can do a flow, okay? Just a simple flow. So, here we go. One, two, get out, right? One, one, two, you can get out the same side. Now, what else do we have? Two, three, come out to this side. One, two, three. Maybe you do a slip to the same side of your last punch, and then you can come back with a hook, right? Or you can even come back with a hook and a two, okay? I'm at the two, let's go back to this side. Right? And you see how all of a sudden I have some sense in my shadow box, right? Now, what you do want to do is get to where you incorporate some pivots and stuff. I don't know if I can do this without stepping on this wire. I gotta get up my technology here, man. But let's say that I'm practicing one, two, three, pop, turn it out. You see what I did? One, two, hook, I slip, I spun out. Then I can come up with an uppercut if I want. A three, I could slip, I could spin out. I'm, I'm spinning this guy around. I could go, you know, I could be here. I could slip his first punch. So if he threw a first punch, two, three, come. I could spin out again. That's getting more advanced. But you know, all, all part of that is, is if you go back to that video, can you cut with this old man? I'm talk, I talk about the bump exercise. You come out here, and then you come back. And you spin out, and you come back, do it with your hands, spin out, you come here, bump, spin out. If you start incorporating this into that, man, you've already, you've gone somewhere with shadow boxing already. But the big thing now, big thing now, we're going to go over it again, okay? So, one, two, same side of the two, or you go one, two, bob under, right? Now, if you want, one, one, two, bob under the same side. Just don't go backwards, okay? You can go one, two, three, let's get out here. Now what you could do, one, two, three, slip here, bob back under, two, three, slip here, bob back under, two, three, see I'm slipping to the same side, bob back, now I, I don't, you, you don't need to just, you wouldn't do the same thing again and again and again. You're not just gonna go two, three, slip, bob back under, two, three, slip, bob back under, ten times in a row. This is just an exercise, okay? So last time, last time. You throw the punch, slip to that side, or bob under that side. If you throw, if the, your last punch is on the other side, well, you can slip to that side, or you can slip like this to that side, or you can bob under that side. And then you're going to take that simple concept and build on combinations. You need to get where you can do this bump, but I'll do one of these videos just to talk about the bump 
or actually a pivot, you know, to practice pivots and bumps, it's actually slightly different, and you can start working it in. But for right now, take the combinations you know, write them down. You can write them on a piece of paper, put them on the wall. Not everybody has a chalkboard in their house. Put them on the wall. Take the combinations and keep them in your head and practice them. At the end of every combo, move and get out. Now, sure, are there other things you can do? You can parry, right? You can parry, right? You can just get away with people you, with steps, right? You can. There's millions of things you can do. This is just a basic intro, right, to get your mind thinking, to get you to have some purpose to it, okay? Some purpose to it. Now, true, when your shadow box, and you need to think about what are you going to do before you throw those punches, right? Uh, how are you going to get into a position? That gets to be maybe even a little bit more complicated, so let's, let's not get into that now. Let's just keep it simple. Keep it simple, because if you do this, you'll wind up with those angles. You'll wind up with those angles. If you throw a one, two, slip, and spin out, you've got an angle on him, right? That's why this kind of method, what I'm talking about, it would actually kind of teach you to find those angles. I'm not saying you're going to become Lomachenko tomorrow, but hey, it's a step. It's a step. Okay, I hope you like that. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you can. I like doing these things. Write what you like, what you don't like on YouTube. I'll try to work on my technology. Otherwise, I hope I see you soon. Bye-bye.